Hey, welcome to Lab Games. I'm Anthony. And I'm Francis. And today we're going to play Four, Four Gods. Gods. All right. Four Gods, uh, designed by Christoph Bollinger and published by Ludically and Asmodee. Mm -hmm. um, this is a real time tile placement game. It is. We're playing well, real time. It's kind of a mix of real time and not real time. It could be either, Perhaps. but we are playing real time. We will be playing real time. Yes, indeed. Um, for about two, well, exactly, two to four players. Two to four players. Um, and it takes about 15 to 30 minutes. Yeah. Depends on if you play real time or not real time. Correct. I suppose. Yeah. Um, but as we said, we'll be playing real time. So it'll be fun. Yes, so we will take it to the table now and show you how to play. All right, welcome to the table. Here we have four gods. Hmm. And we've got it set up for two players. So what we're going to do, uh, because this is a real-time game, <laughs> this is not a, a turn-based game. Um, well, it kind of can be, but we're not going to play that play mode. Nope. So we're going to play the real-time mode. Mm -hmm. And basically, um, this game, you take the role of one of four gods, and we are each creating the world. Right. We're together. Gonna, together. Of, we're yeah. actually creating it together. Uh, by drawing and placing different land tiles. So what you see in front of you are the four different gods. And the four gods each represent a different uh, terrain type. So you've got like the humans, which represent earth terrain, like plains and fields. You've got the dwarves that represent mountains. You've got the mermen or the merfolk that represent the seas. And you've got the elves that represent the wolves. Forest. Wolves. Forest. <laughs> I, I guess why. they might have wolves. I there, might, there's, there may be wolves in those forests. So <laughs> the mode we're playing is uh, is going to be blind uh, draft of the of the gods. And we're going to deal one face down to each of us, and that's the god we're going to have to play with. And it's much better uh, when playing a two-player game to have mm -hmm. that, that random effect, because otherwise it's really easy to know what the other player's going for, and that'll make sense as we go on. Uh, these three tokens really... Uh, are randomizers that represent different game modes that you can play this in. So there is sort of a pseudo timed mode where each player goes and they take, they get 30 seconds on a, on a sand timer that came with the game, uh, but we're not going to use that uh, per turn. And then I would go and then she would go and we'd go back and forth. But that really takes a while. And I think the game really shines in, mm -hmm. in the, the actual cool. real time mode. So we're going to play real time mode. Uh, this is the two player uh, chip, whereas if we were to play with all four gods, um, we would have to. We would get ten um, profits. Is each. it profits? Mm -hmm. Yeah, profits each. Uh, but we're going to play this mode, where it's only two of us playing two different gods, and we're going to get thirteen profits each. Now, what are profits, and what do they do? So we each are going to start with um, a color and a box of thirteen profits. And for all intents and purposes, uh, the color of these profits for this game uh, doesn't matter. It's really just an, uh, identifies them as my player and yours as, as yours, right? The yellow mm -hmm. is going to be Francis and the blue are going to be me. Uh, and, and how the profits work are they're, they're used to, to basically to spread your, your influence or your godly powers, right? So that's the setup. So you get 13 of these little guys each. We're going to have these randomized and we're not going to use a timer. So that's all you really need those for. And you could shake these up and then randomly throw them down and be like, all right, that's the game mode we're playing, mm -hmm. you know, to randomize the game, which is pretty cool. But I think that we like this way the best. Here you have eight legendary cities. Um, we will be able to place these cities throughout the game, as many as we want each, but we're going to have the opportunity to dr destroy each other's cities um if that opportunity arises so these are going to kind of just stay off to the side put like four of them by you yeah. just so you can grab them uh that's we're not limited to four each but just so it's, uh, easier to grab. so it's easier to grab and we'll explain how that goes in a second because i need to show you how the actual placing of the tiles mm -hmm. goes real quick so you've got this bag uh that came with the game nice big bag and it's got a whole bunch of landmass tiles in there and we're going to be able to draw two each um and then real time place them on the board and then mm -hmm. grab two more, place them on our board. If we can't find a place for it, we put them off to the side of the board. This is sort of our discard pile. We each have 20 slots to put 20 of these face down, and we can draw from either of our discard piles. They become pretty much public. Um, but once those are full, you can't draw any more from the bag, and you have to start taking from the sides of the board. But we never come close to, we really don't. to yeah. placing all 20 off to the side. So um, you'll see how that goes when we start playing. <laughs> um, I've got some random tiles here, because I'm going to show you how this works. So. In the beginning, if I have like these two tiles, for example, you'll see they have different uh, different land types on them. And there's only four types of land mm -hmm. uh, of terrain. So you've got water, 
forest, plains, and wolves. mountains, and wolves. <laughs> and that's it, that's all you've got. So the rule, the one main rule that you need to worry about when placing a tile is that it needs to, f to be up against two flat edges. So, yeah. Right? So what does it mean by two flat edges? Well, I can't put this here because it's only against one flat edge. But if I put it in the corner, for example, it's up against two flat edges. And that's a valid legal play. Now, if I want to place the next tile, I could, I have to line up the actual land masses. So I could play it like that. So now my forests connect and my mountains connect. That's a legal play. I could not, even if this one matched, right? So that matches. I've mm -hmm. got plains and mountains, but it's only facing one edge. So I'm not legally allowed to place that there. I'd have to place it somewhere else. I could place it here. So now my mountains are touching and that changes the landmass, right? And you're, we're gonna be doing this throughout the game. The rule with the cities is they also need to touch two edges, two flat edges, not round edges. Mm -hmm. That's why they're specifically made round. Um, so if I put that there, the problem is when I place my city and I claim it with one of my profits, if Francis has a tile that fits perfectly over this place where the city is, she can destroy it. So you don't want to put it in a place that you could <laughs> that there could be a tile for. Right. So if she destroys it, she flips it, it's now raised and she keeps it and she scores five points at the end. If she's unable to kill it at the end of the game, I score five points for it. So that's really how the cities work. It's pretty straightforward. Um, the way profits work, uh, you can only place them at the time you place a tile and only on that tile. And you have to decide when you place it, what land type or terrain type you want to place it on. So if I place this tile now and I want to put a profit here, I'm going to put him on either the plains or on the mountains. And that matters because the way this game scores are for the largest land mass types or la largest terrain types across tiles that are empty that you claim and I know that sounds crazy but mm -hmm. no, it's really quite yeah. simple like for example if I was going to score this guy he's claiming the mountains here and say the game ended right now I would count every tile that's part of this mountain range so it's one two three tiles I would not count the one that has a profit on it because mm -hmm. she could put a profit on a tile if she extended the mountain one more and put a profit on it. Now we're both sharing this mountain range and we're tied. So that all goes into scoring at the end and we'll go right. into much more detail at the end. But I want you to understand why we're placing these, these profits on these tiles because we're claiming a land mass. And the way the game scores is um, you're going to score points for all those land masses. And then we're going to score points for the largest We'll say, say you're the dwarves and they're the mountains. They would score the largest mountain range, right? And if and the the elves would score the largest forest. And say if we were el elves mm -hmm. and dwarves, depending on who had the biggest of that type, Gets would get points. to 15 yeah. points. The second place would get to 10. The one with the most, the dwarf with the most mountain ranges and the elf with the most forests, mm -hmm. the highest number of that gets another 15 points. Yep. And then that's it. That's how you score. So that was the down and dirty. Mm -hmm. We've got our guys. These are going to go back in the bag. I'm going to shuffle them up. We've got our secret gods. Our secret gods. Yes. So okay. I will let you pick yours. Okay. I will take my own. These are going to go out of the game. And we will oh. show. Just, oh, did you, you put didn't a face see up? it, did you? I think I made it. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I got the yellow guy. That's just great. So <laughs> I did see it. I can't cheat like that. Okay. All right. So All right, go ahead. Sorry. Maybe you'll, I thought I forgot it was so easy. Maybe you'll get them again. I'll okay. take that one. So go ahead and show the camera. I won't look. Okay. You good? We're good. All right. Let me go now. You turn your back. Looking. This is what I've got. So I'm going to go after their land type. So Are you done? I'm done. Okay. So that's going to go off to the side of the board. Never to be looked at until the end of the game. So I know what. So as I start building this this continent or this planet. I want to build the most of their home terrain. Like I said, if it was the dwarves, I'd want to build the biggest mountain ranges ever mm -hmm. and as many as I possibly can. If I knew, like for example, when she showed me that she was the humans and had the, <laughs> uh, had the planes, I would go out of my way to not build planes. Right. And I would go out of my way to try to end your planes. Because as I'm building, I'm going to just pick a corner to build. And nobody's right. corner belongs to anybody. The planet is a, an empty canvas. So I can add onto her structure. Mm -hmm. She can add onto mine. As long as you adhere to the rules, it's all fair. Right. We're going to go until we either run out of tiles or till we both pass yeah. at the end. It's basically you go until you're done. So that is that. I think we're ready to I get this I think we're ready to go. Wrong. All I'm, right. I'm ready. Okay. Let's jump in. 
All right, so all the tiles are in the bag. Give it a good shuffle. I'm gonna keep the bag over off the table on the side, um, and we're just gonna keep pulling from the bag. So let's yeah. Yeah, grab your two, I'll grab my two, and we'll jump in. Kay. Good? Yep. <laughs> all right, they're gonna be off to the side on the floor here. Okay. And begin. That's a good call. I usually have pretty good calls. Calls of the wild. Mm -hmm. Okay, are you gonna waste time or are you gonna do it? Just saying. Actually helps. Did you just crush me? I did. That's not very nice. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So 
There you go. That was the. It's beautiful. Bill, that was so fast. It was ridiculous. We were so fast. Yeah. So we we placed all of our profits. We raised a few cities. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got one of yours, right? I got two of yours. You got two of mine. Yep. All right. So what we can do is um, we'll just get all the rest of these tiles off the board because they're now done. We both passed. We both done all of our. Moves. Our moves at the end. You have technically 30 seconds each at the end, so we have a minute to sort of do any last last second cleanup or, or what have you. But um, that's it. So we're gonna have to go ahead and score. So let's get a let's get something to score with. All right. All right. Let's get out your handy dandy notebook. My handy dandy notebook. Actually, no, no. We're just gonna go up the. Oh yeah, we're gonna go right. up the constellations. I don't know what I was thinking. So what here, you've got some extra. All right. Guys, that I yep. raised. How do? Hey, if I killed two of yours, how come I don't have? I'm sorry, what? If I killed two of your cities, how come I don't have two of your tokens? Did you, you didn't kill two of my cities, you only killed one. I remember killing two. Which ones I did killed you kill? one, like two. down here, and then I killed one up here. Oh, okay. That's why I have two of your things. We'll take another one, because yeah. we had extra. I don't know what I did with it. You, you must probably have. tossed it back. Yeah, all right. So I remember <laughs> doing it. Okay. Otherwise I wouldn't have had two of your yellows. Yeah. Over here. Oh, no, 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 I believe you. Okay, so, cool. Um, so we're going to start at zero, mm -hmm. and the first thing we're going to score are all the profits. Well, actually, we're going to score these first, What's our city that? tokens. The city tokens? Yep. I keep calling them profits. Are they really called profits? Yeah. Well, that's what you always call them. That's what I call them, but are they really? Yeah, they are profits. Yeah, I thought so. I don't know why. I keep so we do these first. Uh, yeah, yeah, so we'll score these. So I've got 10 points. Okay. I have 10. 15, 20, 25. So you go up to 25. All right, so those are all the cities. So you've got three good cities and you raised two of mine, I raised two of yours. Okay. So that's done. Now we go on to scoring our profits. So okay. we basically add up every specific landmass that they're claiming mm -hmm. or, or uh, nation. Yeah. So this guy's claiming this mountain nation, and this mm -hmm. is a mountain nation of four tiles. Yeah. But you only got you only count the ones without profits on it. Right. So you're only he's worth three points since yep. he's the only profit. You get three points for that. Okay. All right. He comes off. Okay. Uh, we'll do this plane here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Oh, that's an illegal move. What? That forest is touching that plane. Oh no. What do we do? I don't know. Well, we'll just not count it. So we won't we won't count that forest then? Yeah, we okay. won't count that forest. So yeah, because all these would have been there anyway. How many did we have? How many points did you get for this? Uh, a le 10? One, two, okay. wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? No, it didn't seem right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You don't count the one with my guy on it. Oh, because it has a profit on it. Mm -hmm. Okay, got you. So it's nine, and we each get nine. I was at 25. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We each get nine? Yep. We I died. thought you said we don't split it? We split. We get. We both score for it. Oh, okay. Um, so he comes off. Okay. And he comes, and he comes off. off. All right. So we'll score this forest. One. No, we're not going to score that one, right? At That's all. That's like my right. penalty. Well, yeah. So right. we just won't. I'll give it one, up. One, two, fine. three, four, five. We'll count five. Okay. All right. Let's count, count this. This is a big mountain here. Mm -hmm. so this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This doesn't count, too. I think it should. Because it's connected. Yeah. So, one, two. Let's count them and then subtract profits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Minus one, two, three, four. It's only be worth ten points. We each have two. Okay. So ten each. So I've okay. got twenty-nine. Oh, so you kept hopping on all my stuff. Yeah, on purpose. Oh, so that that's would, pretty dirty. It is dirty, but I was also out of profit, so I couldn't plant as many cities. I already counted. I'm at 29. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I kept doing that on purpose. Oh, okay. Uh, we can get rid of these guys, too, okay. so they don't confuse me. Uh, this guy counts as three, so give me three more for that okay. little ocean. 
Okay. And this guy counts as one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight more for him. Okay. But this one doesn't count because there's a profit He's on it. He's counting the ocean. Oh, okay. That's eight. Right? I that clearly do not understand the scoring <laughs> of this game. Um, it's only for what nation they take up, and that's the forest nation, right? Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Uh -huh. Minus 1, 2, 3, 4 is 11. We get 11 each. Okay, so you're at 40, so you have 51. And I'm at... 60. 60. Okay. Yep. yep. And now for this... For the massive Three ocean. for yeah. this guy. Oh. Three more for me. Okay. All right, now... I'm going to get the, the points on this one. Yeah. This thing is huge. I know. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine points. Wow, you can go ahead and do that. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 29. That was huge. Yeah, we did a good job building that. We did. Uh, all right, so the prophets are scored. Now we reveal our gods. I wonder which god you have. I have the merfolk. I know. That's my favorite one. I know. I'm so bummed I didn't get that. I just got <laughs> this grizzly dude. It's a dwarf. The mountain man. He's a mountain man. All right, so you get 15 and I get 10, right? You, well, you have to count up the largest mountain. Right? We did. It's only 14, and you have like 30. Okay, yeah. So, so I get 15, you get 10. I'm just trying to save time One, two, here. Three, four. All right. And the number of your land masses. So this is actually okay. just one for me. Right. Two. I only have three oceans. Yeah. And I have one, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, five. You don't. This only counts as. Oh. It's, you need to have at least two tiles. Okay. To make well, I still have more than you. Five. Right? You've got more. Yeah. So you get fifteen. Okay. And I get ten. Okay. And that's it. Cool. Awesome. What a cool planet we made. This is one of our better planets. It's pretty good. Yeah. Let's go talk about it. All right. Okay, there you have it. Four gods. Real time. Real time. Yeah. That was a real good time. That was a good time. <laughs> you won. For me. I That's did. good. I did. You actually, you like, we played this game a few times mm -hmm. and usually we're very close. Yes. We're within like a point or two. I think last time I won by two points. I think you did. Yeah. It was very, very close. Um, but we built that massive ocean. That was it. That was the that was the winner, I think. So, well, let's talk about all the things. We'll okay, let's talk about all the yeah. things, and we'll talk about the game. Yeah. So, um, talk. Let's talk about replayability. What do you think? Oh, I think there's tons of replayability. <laughs> there's tons of yeah, like there's, there's infinite replayability. In this yes, game. not one game goes the same. I way. don't think you could build the same map if you try. Never. Ever. Never. So it's ridiculous how yeah. different every time it looks. And then you have like your goals are different every time because your yep. gods can be different every time. And even if your gods the same, you're drawing different tiles. The map's different. It's yeah. Completely different. It's so different. So, so it's, different. It's different every single time you play. Yep. Um, all right. How about weight? Weight is hot. You know what? I, I'd like to say it's a lightweight game, mm -hmm. but I mean the the scoring is a little complex though. It is. When it comes down to it. Like, if you were to yeah. take just the mechanism of drawing tiles and building a puzzle, right? Because right? you're putting together a puzzle. Right, exactly. Essentially, this right? is like spatial reasoning. Yes. But I to suppose. put those pieces in such a way that it's benefiting you at end game scoring is where it really yeah. gets complex. Because right. you, you have to start thinking about how your profits are going to score versus land masses versus number well, of land masses. and at the same time, and this is where I kind of screwed up this game, mm -hmm. was, you know, you also have to think about how your end game scoring is going to affect your opponent as well. So if you're building something, not only do you have to think about how am I building what's going to help me and like 
how are my gods going to score and all this mm-hmm. kind of thing. But also, your opponent is playing on that same board. Yes. So you have to also like simultaneously be thinking about blocking their massive ocean off. <laughs> yes, which would be <laughs> you know, very helpful. Um, that kind of thing. So yeah, and from a complexity standpoint, you know, considering how to score, mm-hmm. I think makes it much more complex right. than just laying tiles. Correct. Correct. Yeah. That's where it gets a little bit. So I'd say this is a. A light slash medium. Yeah, game. I would too. Okay. Um, how about components? Components are great. Yeah. I think that the as the expected. yeah as expected. Like, yeah. uh, and I would expect nothing less. Like the the player board. Um, you know, you've got like sort of the astrology mm-hmm. theme because you're gods, right? Yeah. So you're 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 up in your your clouds and your in your space and you're <laughs> building the earth because you're creating the planet, right? Right. And you've got these <laughs> tiles that have simple but beautiful art. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. And every way you turn them, they fit. Yes. They always fit. Like if it's meant well, to touch, like if it's meant to, if it's t- meant it's meant to, meant to go fit, together, it will fit. It will fit. Yeah. And if it's not, it won't. It's right. very simple and yeah. it's very consistent. So you know what you're looking for, right. and you know, it, and it works. Like yes. it really works. And like the, the the little minis, like they could have been just wooden cubes. Right. But they're little profits. Yeah. You know, they're tiny little right. little molded pl- profits uh-huh. that look like profits. It's great. Well, and the tiles too are like double sided. And if yes. you do look, it's um, on the one side. It tends to favor certain elements I guess and the other side it favors others so Uh, like and I noticed this actually when we were playing this time because you had the water mm -hmm. gods and I had um, the dwarf the the dwarf the mountain mountain folks so um, I noticed all your tiles that you were laying down were all like water tiles Mm -hmm. because you're putting them in your reserve and all of mine were you know the forests and the mountains and stuff Mm -hmm. and you flip them they tend to be like more water and stuff so they yeah, they oppose they, a little bit. They do, and I, I noticed for a fact that one side of the tile always has water, and the yes. other side does not. Right, exactly. So it's, yes. that's the one constant throughout. Right, right. So you get that, you know uh-huh. that you can. You, if you have to flip, you flip, and yeah. you'll you'll pick this up after a few plays. Yeah, until, yeah. But at the first play, you're just you're just blown away because yeah. there's just too much going on, right, and you're just right. trying to figure out how it goes together. But yeah, but components very nice. Yeah, very very nice. Um, how about the theme? I think it was cool. I think the theme just resonates beautifully. Yeah, it works. The game. You guys are building, you know, your gods building a planet yeah. and you've got your prophets out trying to spread right. your your I don't know what they call it, the I R. I forget what it stands for. Um uh, like your influence really. Yeah, it's it's more or less influence, but it's like your god power. Right. Um so you're spreading that out and you're you know, you're the god of the ocean, so the more ocean mm-hmm. you get on that planet, the more influence you're gonna have mm-hmm. overall, right? Um so very, very cool. Yeah. The theme cool. really, really works here. Um, how about the fun factor? That's a lot of fun. It is. It is. It's because I mean, if so you yeah, if you like putting puzzles together, yes. right, and building a yes. picture, and, and just that whole using that other side of your brain, right, yeah. like because you're not doing this whole analytic worker placement, trying to look eight turns ahead to yes. see where I am, you know, the, for this massive, massively difficult chess match. Right. You're, you're building a piece of art, really. Right. You are. So you're using this whole creative side of your brain, yeah. and it just it's and it's we a love that. yeah, it really opens up a different experience yeah. for the play uh-huh. that is welcome. Right. You know what I mean? Well, and because again, you're thinking about you're like you're building something, you're constructing something that has to work for you mm-hmm. and has to like also not really work for your opponent. Yes. So, <laughs> so you know the, the the joy of putting that one tile down that shuts off their whole right. giant mountain range. Right. You know, or it turns taking in, over that city because you found the yeah one the piece one tile. That fits, you know. So cool. yeah, it's, it's it's rewarding. So it's yeah. like, and you're not just let me just build my side of the map. No, I'm building the whole world. Right. With other people, mm-hmm. and I've got a some plays defensively and some plays offensively, right. and then I've got to think about where am I putting my profits, and am I using too many? Right. Do I need to save some for the cities? Mm-hmm. You know, it's like so. It's really really cool. Yeah. Yeah, a lot cool. of fun. Um, how about the setup? Uh, actually, setup on this is very very simple. It is. Uh, you've got those um, randomizer tiles mm-hmm. that tell you exactly you know for what kind of game you want to play. So you can randomize it. You can start it the way you want, but. The only thing you may have to change is, is based on player count, mm-hmm. uh, is the number of profits you get to start with right. for each each god. Um, outside of that, there's nothing else to do. They give you a nice bag to mm-hmm. put all the, the land tiles, the tiles in, yeah. and you mix it up, and you're done. Mm-hmm. And the the outer uh, side of the board is just four pieces that fit together like a puzzle. So in a puzzle, yeah, in a puzzle. So yeah. very simple, very fast setup, uh, right to the table. So yeah. All right. Um, how about the audience? Who's this for? Hmm. This would be for. I mean, this is a little more. Complex. I this think some of your younger yeah. gamers, you know, like kids and all, maybe mm-hmm. 
you know, may feel a little overwhelmed by it. Yeah. They'll have fun with it, granted. Right. They'll build the puzzle, but I don't know if they're going to really get into the complex scoring. Right. You know? And I mean, I guess, th theoretically, too, you could take elements of the scoring yeah. and play with, like, all right, let's, you know, just try to see who has the biggest element that their god right, you know, right, creates right. or something and just use that. Um, but yeah. But I think, yeah, this think would... pretty much anybody. Yeah, this, I mean, yeah, I'd say this would probably, audience-wise, you'd want to probably target a little more, someone who's probably played games a bit. Yeah. But you could probably, probably also kind of weigh on the lighter side. I mean, you could teach it. I think yeah. it, it, and it plays so quick uh -huh. that after the first play, they'll get it. Right. And then you'll jump right into a second play, yeah. and then it'll start to make more sense, you yeah. know, the scoring. Because um, like I said, the only really complicated part of this is, is at the end when you're trying to count up right, all yeah. the different, you know, uh, nations and say, okay, how big is it? Is right. it, you know, do I count this one? Do I not? Yeah. And all that. So, but otherwise, yeah, I think it's, you could probably go to the, any, and this is probably, the audience would be, like I said, just, you know, someone who's probably played games before, but yeah. nothing too serious. Right. right. Because it's not very heavy. Yeah. Um, all right. So, what do you think? Conclusions. Conclusion. I thought this was um, this is a, this is definitely a high end great game. Yeah. For me. Definitely. Um, I, I think it. You know, it, it's very light. It's very very fast. If you play, you know, the, the real time game. Um, our playthrough actually, even though we we time lapsed mm -hmm. it. It was a lot longer than our normal one, just because right. for some reason we just couldn't get the right tiles to build what we were trying wow. to build. Yeah. Um, I mean, I was able to do it, but I had a plan in place and I was sticking to it. Yeah. Like I wanted the biggest ocean in the world, you know, in that game, and, and I <laughs> yeah. did. That was the biggest okay. one I've ever built, yeah. and that's what that's what swung the game in my favor completely. Yeah, it did. Was owning that, that was ocean. It. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but it took us a while to get through it just uh -huh. because we were really focused on trying to maximize, I think. Well, yeah, and I think that for some reason we got, we got stuck during the game where we had like two sides of the world built mm -hmm. and we couldn't build in the middle. We couldn't. We couldn't get the right pieces to you connect. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and you don't necessarily have weird, to connect because they can come together no, at weird, weird yeah, corner yeah. angles. We didn't really have any of those. But it was funny because this was actually also, I think the first game that we had where everything did fit together. Yes. Usually we do end up at the very end with like a space or two that, you know, we can't fit anything. Right. Or, you know. When the two corners. We filled up the entire. Yeah, we filled it all up and we never do that. Yeah. So, um, it was an interesting play through, yeah. and I think the longest plays will probably be with two players. Where, for sure. if you think about it, if you play with four, you've got four different people putting tiles down at the same yeah. time. The game is going to go; it should theoretically go four times faster. Exactly. So, yeah. what took us maybe thirty minutes to, right. to forty minutes to do will take a normal, you know, another group ten minutes. Right. You know, four to yeah. just throw it down, and you're done. So, you could play a few games of this. Uh -huh. So, this is like the ideal game that you'd want to put on the table after a heavy Absolutely. two and a half to three hour yeah. game, you know, like Euro, heavy Euro game where you're just like constantly looking right. at, you know, long-term strategy. It's a completely different part, like mm -hmm. completely different part of your brain you're using. Yeah. And it's, you know, kind of relaxing in a way. It is. It's, it's like very, cathartic. It is very. Even though, very. you know, you're still kind of out for blood. Yeah, but it's but it's just like I said, it's a different different yeah. different experience altogether. So yeah, okay. it's definitely cool. a, def an absolute great great game okay so there you have it uh thank you to asmodee for providing us a copy of four gods for this mm -hmm. review um hope you enjoyed the playthrough hope you enjoyed the review and we will see you at the next video see ya